A while back when I actually got the Dell canvas, I wrote out this, this rather old ratty tatty list. Now this is basically a list of all the things that I think could be improved upon on the inbuilt software that comes with the Dell canvas and much of this still very much stands. I'd like to take you through this now. This is basically a video directly to Dell. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you have a Dell canvas, if you've seen the software, if you played with the software, even if you don't, you may just have some general thoughts and opinions on the ideas here. And either way, some of this software is readily available for you as a Windows user. Hopefully Dell will see this feedback and maybe make some changes. At the time when I wrote this, I thought Fences was actually made by Dell. I hadn't I wasn't aware of Fences as an individual piece of software that you could get on its own, so bear with me. Fences organizes the icons, shortcuts, and folders on your PC desktop into shaded areas called Fences. When you initially load Fences, you have the option to automatically sort your icons into Fences. Choosing this option will create a set of default fences that places your current desktop icons inside them. Creating additional fences is easy. Just left click and drag anywhere on your desktop. Now click to confirm the fence type and name it. One of the most useful features in fences is the option to create a fence from a folder. Simply right click it's on the readily available. So the yeah. If you've tried fences you'll know what I mean if you haven't maybe have a look at the demo get it for yourself but this is a change that could either be made to the Dell canvas version or could be made to fences itself so number one utilize Dell canvas fences app with WordPress plugins to allow users to display widgets such as Twitter feeds Facebook feeds and show emails. I, I absolutely do not know if there is a way of making fences work with WordPress widgets. That may be completely impossible. If there isn't, then it would be nice if basically some kind of plugins that do very similar things could be made. It was just an idea off the top of my head. I don't know how doable that is, but either way, I'd like some way of being able to see my Twitter feed, my Facebook feed, everything like that in fences. Just the idea. The palettes themselves, the icons, um, Dell have done a great job actually with the icons. I think there's a lot of icons and I think they're really well made. I think they're really usable, but I would like to see some alternatives. And by that, I mean, I'd like to be able to pick the alternatives. There are a lot of websites out there that make icons, places like Icon 8 that have some beautiful sets. And personally, what I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to say, hey, I've got a bundle of Icon 8 icons and yeah, I want to be able to use those. Carrying on the theme of palettes, I'd actually like to be able to change the icon colors. Just that way, if I end up with a lot of icons, then basically I can choose to have different colors. That allows me to group my icons, for example, or just to be able to have certain icons in colors so I can quickly identify which icon I want to use most often, or I can give them relevance or a level of importance. Say, for example, I have a record icon. It's not going to be the same color as the rest of them. I can make that one red, but at least I can choose which icon is which color. For example, that might be a good idea. Few of these that I actually wrote on here have already been solved. Now this one is one that I'm particularly interested in, which is I'd like fences to be able to preview an image in a large way. So this in entire section here 
an entire kind of quadrant would be a preview area. At the moment I can tell it to preview say a folder but I, what I want to do is I want to be able to say right preview an entire a single image in that. That would be very cool and say if I hover over it I can zoom into it. If I'm using Photoshop in the center section I could in theory have four image references around me. To me that was kind of one that I thought should be relatively easy to do and I think like I say normal fences could do this or Dell could do this to their adaptation of fences. This could also work a bit more like the Seer app that you can download which is kind of like Apple's preview you know when you hit the space bar so it not only previews images like JPEGs but you could also preview a video in that section or a music file for example you can just preview any file in there you know whether it be an InDesign file or an animation file or anything but you can preview a single file there and it'd be great if it already had all of the relevant kind of plugins required. Seer annoys me. It's it's great because it's the closest thing to Apple's built-in kind of uh, preview function but Seer, this window application that's free, you have to go and download all the little plugins for every kind of file type. So while it just automatically does a JPEG, if you want it to be able to read, say, a PSD, you then have to go and get the plugin for that, which I find annoying. Now this one for me is a really big one. I want a specialized mini keyboard for the Dell Canvas. One thing I've really, really missed from changing over from Mac to PC is the fact that the Mac had a beautiful, beautiful mini keyboard on screen. Windows has a huge keyboard that takes up a third of the screen and it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. If you're working away and you want an on-screen keyboard, you press a button and it pops up and it takes over your entire screen and you can't have it there while you're working. So you press a few buttons and then you have to close the keyboard. With the one I had on my Mac, it was tiny and I could just keep it open all the time. And it was great. And I did, I used to keep it open all the time. It just used to sit there unintrusive while I worked. I want that mini keyboard that I can keep open all the time on Windows. Now I don't know if there's a PC version that exists and I just haven't found this. If you know of one, let me know in the comments below or tweet me. Otherwise, Dell, please make one. Please add it in to the functionality for the canvas. You will really be helping me out and you will really be helping other artists out because a lot of us use micro keyboards and we tape them or magnetize them to the sides here. However, if we have a micro on-screen keyboard that we can just tap with our stylus or also use at the same time with our finger while we're drawing, absolutely great. You will be making our lives so much easier. Now, one thing I do love that Dell really got right was the ability to switch apps from one screen to another. So. If I go to drag a window, it asks me where I want to drop it. So if I have a multiple screen set up, I can decide which screen I drag it to. I don't have to physically drag it over each screen. A lot of people ask me though, if the Dell Canvas has one thing which the Wacom Cintiq has, which is the ability to change my pointer, my cursor from one screen to the next. 
No, it doesn't. I would like to see Dell do something very, very similar. Because even though it's not something I use, I know this is something that's important to other people as well. It's not on my list, but I thought I'd just mention that. Going back to palettes for a moment, you're never gonna be able to come up with enough icons to please everyone, to be able to give everyone enough icons to be able to cover exactly what everyone's doing. So what I'd like is the ability to have text as icons. So if I have a shortcut that's really bizarre and weird, I can at least say what it is or give it some initials or so at least I as the user understand what this button is. And that's it. That's my list. That was actually pretty short. Um, most of these were actually already taken care of. You know, most of it's beta testing issues. And a lot of it was, a lot of it was really just fences, changes to fences, things I'd like to see done to fences. If you'd like to do this, Dell, then absolutely great. If the makers of fences are watching this and you guys would like to do that, then brilliant. If you'd like to get in touch with me and talk further about ideas on how to improve, then crack in, happy to talk. If you guys out there have any idea on what could make fences better or palettes better, what you'd like to see in an on-screen working environment that could make this better, then I'd love to hear it. Put it in the comments below and let's have a conversation. I've also got a video on on-screen express keys. And something like that might also be really, really useful as part of this inbuilt setup because those things are notoriously difficult to install. So yeah, that might also be a really good option to explore for anybody making a drawing tablet. Just an idea. You know, seeing something like that come with your next mobile studio or your next Surface Pro. Yeah, I think everybody would welcome that. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this video and I'll see you all soon. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and even subscribe to my channel, Lawrence Can Draw. And if you really did like what you saw here, you can see more of it on my website, lawrencemann.co.uk. I'll see you next time.